it's now time to take a look at the elements window. With the elements window, you can do so much, such as put a shape over your character, put some explosions in your video, or put some text like this. Elements are great because they do not cover the entire screen like filters and overlays did, and you can actually click and readjust them to make it perfect for your video. I will get a video. And using elements, I can put something on the areas that I have right here. Let's put a text right here. This ha 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 text, superhero pack, element 05 if you want to get the same one. And now I can double click this and move it around. With overlays and filters, we did not have this option. You can see how I'm getting the same transform uh, window as videos. I can rotate, flip, scale in or out, or change the position X and Y. But we did not have this with elements and overlays. Let's put this away for now. With elements and overlays, you would have to, let's get this glitch overlay. You would have to just the only option you had was to change the opacity. If I double clicked on the overlay, I could not move it. And I only had the option to move my video, which would not be convenient in every scenario. Even if I lock my video in place, I still cannot move um, my overlay. I'm double clicking, but nothing is showing up. Even if I go into properties, I only have an option to change the opacity and nothing else. So that's what sets this window and this window apart. Elements are independent things that go on top of your video that you can readjust to make it perfect. So I'm just gonna double click on this superhero element and just place it on top of my uh, flower. I can also click and drag it here, scale it down a bit or drag one of the corners here to make it perfect for my video. Not only do you get a transform option, but you also have a compositing option for this, which we'll learn in a further lesson. And we have things like chroma key, basically anything that you have for a video, you can put it on elements. So let's try drop shadow, open this up, and now I have a drop shadow on this element. I can change the distance of this shadow, Blur it out if I want. If you go all the way out, you're just gonna get a really faded uh, ball here. But if you go to the left, you're going to get the sharp outline of this element. You can adjust the opacity. Zero meaning that it's not there. 100 means that it's all there. You can also change the color of your shadow. You can get the eyedropper tool if you'd like to maybe get one of the yellows over here. And now it's yellow. Then adjust the luminosity down here, the lightness of the color that you chose. And now you have this brown color. You can also snap it in any place. Let me just reset everything to get my original element. They all come with uh, animations as well. You can see how this is animated. I can minimize it if I want to get rid of some parts of the animation. Uh, but I cannot extend it because like we said, this has a set duration. Just like videos, if you surpass the uh, duration of the video, you cannot add to it anymore. Two elements, you can also add transitions that we learned how to use. Let's go to transitions and get a dissolve transition. Play this back and I'm getting a dissolve transition on my element. So we have default and film stock, just like we did for all the other windows. Let's take a look at default where we have a favorites tab. And in the included group, we have a lot of categories for you to choose. We've got things like hand-drawn, and these are all animated by the way. So it's a really fun touch for your videos. You can click, double click on it to put it anywhere you want, maybe make it smaller, rotate it using this guy, this handle over here. Let's hit OK, delete this. We have uh, badges, tutorial things. So if you want to maybe show a tutorial on how to use a program, you can use these 
icons to point at something on your screen. Like I want to point at this B here. And there we go. I can maybe put a voiceover to explain uh, about this bug. And it's just a great feature. We got pets over here, really cute illustrations of pets, emojis, AR, which are these 3D uh, animations. You can see how nice that was. Not only was it 3D, but it has dimension to it. You can see how this got really close to the screen and it was as if it's slicing through us now. So that's AR, we got fun, some really nice emojis, got some fire, some uh, neon elements, neon crown, social media, we have a game, these pixelated illustrations, and countdowns for your videos. The options you get on these are like videos. I can rotate this, flip it around, scale it in or out, change the position X and Y, and uh, change the compositing or the blending mode of this element, which we'll take a look at later. I can even stabilize this, uh, this element, which is not that necessary. Uh, we have green screens, lens correction for the element, not the video. Let me turn off the video. Drop shadow as we learned, and auto enhance. We can also mask this out, which we'll learn in another lesson. But we also have speed that we know how to use, so I can just maybe make this faster and you can see how that shortened. Play this back and I'm getting a really fast countdown. I can uh, even use speed ramping for this. Reverse the speed if I want. If I want my countdown to be in reverse, let's slow it down. So I can get a countdown in reverse. Originally it was counting down from 10 to 1 and now it's going from 1 to 10. You can change the duration manually by typing something in here. Let's go for nine, and now it's shorter. We also have speed ramping that we learned how to use. Grab these keyframes and adjust my video's speed. Going fast at times, and then going slow at other times. I will get this uh, pet element one, place it on top. And now I wanna change the color and the lighting of this. I can go to the properties, or double click, head over to the color and maybe I can auto enhance it and now it's brighter. So this was before, this is after. And I can adjust the white balance like we learned. I can add and um, change the temperature of my video, make it warmer or colder. Adjust the tint if I want. We have tone. You can adjust the contrast, the saturation, the brightness of this element. You can even add a 3D LUT. Let me add Game of Thrones and it's going to apply this to uh, the same colors that you would add on a video onto this element. So you get every setting that you would get for a video, but this time it's on an element. You can also do some color correction on this element. Let's head over to advanced. And now I have the same advanced color uh, tuning that I would get for my videos. I can grab any of these presets and see. Maybe add a custom one that we made in the previous lesson. Let's turn on the before and after side by side window so we can see what we're doing. And I have the same options that I did for my videos when I came to the color correction tab. So this is after. I can make it change the color, adjust the vibrance if I need to, and completely change my element. Now let's head over to the film stock window. Now again, in film stock, you're getting so much more options. Let's get this Kung Fu heat, add it on top, see what it is. Pretty cool. I will grab something that will look equally as cool for this element. We got these bears fighting. Let's get this bear and test it out first. Bring it back and we get these epic elements on top. It's a slow motion clip. Let's try this one. There we go. So this is epic and I can just make it look like this. Pretty cool. Let's add some other things. 
maybe add a ring to uh, this video so it's like he's coming from this fire ring there we go play this back and that looks pretty cool there we go again you can double click and even add some keyframe animations so this video right now let's delete this one this video it's kind of moving you can see that we're kind of shifting the angle of the camera if i want this element to be there the whole time centered on my character i can use the keyframe animations to make sure it's on the character select that element head over to the animation where we can make customizable keyframes so let's play this back and see exactly where it moves away before starting i do need to readjust the element because we're getting the bottom here and it's not exactly in the center so let's head over to video first and scale it in a bit so we just get the cool parts and change the position x and a little from position y there we go let's play this back and now it looks a lot better so let's go back to the animation window where we can add customizable keyframes. I will take a look and see where the camera shifts away. There we go. So until here, I'm gonna make a keyframe. So from this point to this point, nothing is happening. And let's select the keyframe. And then move here, it's moving a bit towards the, uh, the left. So I'm just going to select that first and then change position X. Bring it a little bit to the left. Let's select this other keyframe. And over here, let's just move it a bit more to the left. So it stays centered the whole time and it just disappears. Maybe over here I can accompany this cool effect with a fade out transition. There we go. So it's like everything disappears. And so does our hero. I'll put one at the start as well. Let's take a look at what we made. So we made this really epic scene with an uh, element and keyframing i can use overlays and filters to make my video even better let's head over to effects and take a look at what we can put on let's put some uh, lens flare to show that the beam is really strong put that on top I can stretch this out because it's not a video, it's a looping animation. Adjust the opacity and just play this back. So we have this light beam just going around. Maybe I want it to go underneath my ring, which will look better. Let's add a filter to adjust the colors as well. I guess we can get this one flushed added underneath i can extend the time of this one let's add a dissolve transition on the filter and the lens flare so it shows up gradually and not suddenly then i'm going to select this keyframe so i can get my playhead exactly on the end of the animation and then match the transitions here so it fades out with everything else do the same thing here make sure the transitions um, start and end at the same time stretch this out a bit you can also zoom in if it's hard to see and now let's see what we made there we go it's an epic battle scene we're getting a lot of things at the same time and then it all goes away so you can use elements to make your videos more interesting in terms of visual effects. You can get things that are not as intense, like in the lifestyle tab, you can get like a cat, a coffee, uh, go to stylize and you can get some doodles. So not everything is uh, extreme and 
epic like the one we used. You can just add them. Uh, go for more simple things for your vlog or something. And we have things that can be used for professional purposes. Like these things for your videos. Maybe uh, 3D elements like a calculator, dollar bills, and so much more. Anything that you need for video editing, you can find it in the elements tab. And now that we know how to add additional things on top of our video, let's learn how to split our videos and have multiple tracks playing at the same time.